Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we've got these two Bosch batteries. They have a problem. The problem is they will not power a tool. Won't even light the light. Won't even put on the LED. Nope. Nothing. If you try them on the charger. Attempts to charge, but nothing. And no bars there. Again, nothing. And again, no bars. So we're going to check the voltage and see what they're like. Number one is 2.59 volts, which is very, very low for about, this supposed to be 18 volts there. So that's not good. Battery number two is a bit better. It's about the 12 volts there, just under 12 volts. So still a good bit low. So we've got to open them and see what we can do. These Bosch batteries have T10 torques. And they also have security tabs, like we plastic things that cover the torques. There's three in this one. Yep. And we've got to get them out. And how we do this is a wood screw. Screw a wood screw into the tab. And that, um, that takes a grip. And get a pair of pliers that pulls that little thing out. And you have access to the screw down that hole. We have five banks of cells here um, and we're going to do an individual voltage test to see what's what's actually in them. There's a little bit in that one, a little bit in that one, a little bit in that one, a little bit in that one. There's virtually nothing on them. They're not they're not completely dead, but they're dead enough that conventional wisdom would tell you that that battery is junk that down um, once once a cell goes below three volts technically or a bank of cells in this case it's supposed to be a goner but i know different from experience this battery is a actual ideal candidate for the the jump start method to restore because all the cells are critically critically low but they're all fairly equal and a little jump start from another battery i'll bring it up a treat Show you how this is all going to work. I've got a good battery. Doesn't matter the brand, 18, 20 volt, that sort of thing. And I've connected the multimeter to the Bosch battery, which is 2.62 volts, which we've already established is far, far too low. I'm going to connect some strong leads to the Bosch battery and connect it to the new one. And you'll see the you'll see the voltage spike when I hit this. And there will be a spark. There will be a spark. It wasn't too severe. You see the spike and the voltage going up. We want to bring that voltage up to about hopefully 17, 18. This battery wasn't very high in the voltage. This is only one bar, so it'll, it might not have the just just to get it up there, but we'll get another one if we need to. See, it's slowing down there. But if we do need another one, there's plenty more. I'm going to get her up to 17. Because hopefully at 17, that Bosch battery will take a charge. And it's slowing down now. At 16 it might charge, at 17, if it's going to charge it definitely will. Here we are. I'm going to put on another battery onto it, we'll keep that charger there, or the 
multimeter there, should I say. I'm going to switch out the batteries here. <coughs> you should see a drop initially, and then you'll see a spike again. There we are. That battery, three bars, and it's a legitimate battery or a knockoff. So we'll probably take this off the charge now, or off the boost start. Take this off the boost start now and see if we can get it to charge. Carefully remove these wires, don't cross them. 16.4 is dropping there. We'll get it on the charge quickly. See if it ticks. It is charging now. So we'll leave it a little while to see if it continues to charge. You can see that flashing light there. Yeah. So this is taking a full charge now. So I'll put it back together. Testing the voltage in this one. It's clear that it's taking a full charge, or the maximum charge is probably as the ability to take, which is full charge. So we'll try it on the drill now, and we get nothing. Get it lighting up, but we don't get it going. So that one's a fail. So battery number two, we'll have to um, get it open and test the individual banks of cells we've done with the previous one. Battery number two open. We'll just have to get these pulled back again to get at the cells to see what we're dealing with. And so here we go again. We'll test the individual banks of cells here. As I feared. Yeah. Let's see if we can let you see that. There's four banks of cells that are 3.76. All very matched, balanced. This one is completely kaput. Like this should be showing a positive reading on the multimeter, but it's showing minus 26. And it's that bank of cells is pulling down the rest, so really we need to do cell replacement in that one. So we'll just pop out these two cells and second from the end, these ones here. Don't do this again. Or anywhere else. Just don't do this. Just check if they're showing any voltage at all. Showing a minus value, so that is kaput. And that is also same. Just that. So we're going to pop on these replacement cells. They're similar, they're not exactly the same, but they're 18650s and they are the same ampere. They're the same brand. They're a slightly different cell, but for the purpose of an old country fix, an old cheap fix, it will do the job. Ah, there we are.
Just try this one on the charger to see about those. Good job. It is in fact charging. This one's been on for quite a while now, so I'll take it off and put the sides on and give it a test. I'll test the voltage first. And the voltage is no. 20.4, that's pretty much fully charged. We'll very quickly try this on a drill to see how we're doing. How do we do with the new cells? That works. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.